In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to show you how to manually change the color of the face of your characters in your paragraphs, your letters as it were. You may get into Tyler Pro in one of several ways. If you have an add-on copy like I do in my copy of PowerDirector, you go to your title room and I'll drag it down to any video track or any title track. Now you may get to it in a different way, but when you double click on it, you will find the same screen in virtually any application of Tyler Pro. So what we tell you here will be generic. It wants me to enter some text. We'll do that. This is my enter key first sample. So I have two lines, but I have one block of text called a paragraph. I'm going to take this and we're going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see the changes more clearly on the recording screen. So what, what should I do if I want to manually change the color of the text? We'll deal with other features later. Well, to do that, I click on my Style tab. And then right in the middle, I have a white box and the color dot is selected. So if I click on the box, I can select the color. I can do a preset color here, and click on OK. Or I can click again and I can click anything I want to in the entire color range. Um, let's pick maybe this one here and click OK. And now I have a different kind of color. Again, you have the option of changing your background. If you click on View, you can go black, gray, or white. Let's go black. So there is my new color. And again, you can do this as much as often as as carefully as you want to decide what color you like in your text. But you have something more than a single color. You can also choose a gradient color. Let's click on that button. Now one thing changes. I have two little circles at opposite ends of my color box. So if I click on any one of them, I'll click the upper left one, it will give me my default color from my last selection but then I'm going to click on maybe that bluish purple color there. Click OK. And now I notice this color uh, is a gradient that moves to the original color. I can also take the original color. Let's move it just to white, maybe a, a gray rather than a white. And click on OK. And now I have these two. I can also move the position of my circles. I can take this one over to the top. I can move this one over to the bottom. And the gradient is from top to bottom on every single letter. I can reverse it if I want. I can put the gray on the top and the blue on the bottom. I can also change the proportion of gray to blue. I can make the gray go most of the way down and just a little bit of blue on the bottom. I can angle it to the right or left. I can put it uh, back to the top if I want, and I can push the blue up and make just a little bit of it gray. So you can control the proportion of one color to the other as you adjust the gradient. The other thing you can do with the, the gradient tool is you can click on stretch to paragraph. Watch what happens when I do that. At first it doesn't look like anything changed. But let me change the orientation here. Let's go from uh, uh, bright on the left and darker on the right. Notice every letter starts with light and goes to dark. But watch what happens when I do stretch to paragraph. Now it applies to the entire block of text. Light on the left and darker blue on the right. So that's what happens when you click this button. So if you want it to have a gradient in your entire block of text, you click on stretch to paragraph. Otherwise you leave it unchecked. And you can go back to a solid color if you want. And we'll just click on this again. It will override it. And uh, let me go back to a uh, gray background. The other thing that you can do for color in your fonts manually is click on the texture button. That's your third main option. And if I click on texture, then I click on my box in the middle. It will give me a set of preset textures 
that are loaded with my copy of Tyler Pro that I can use. Let's try brick. Click on that, and there we go. It's all brick. I'll click on another one. We'll, we can try this uh, other woodish color and picture where you can move anywhere else you want to on any file. Let me do my turtles. And this is my wise turtle text here. So you can take any picture, uh, any graphic, anywhere, and <laughs> you can make that the one that you use for your... Um, for your uh, text, the background of your text. And so that's an example of how you can take a texture, a gradient, or a color to change your text. Next time we're going to look at a couple other features on modifying text in Tyler Pro.